Oh, wow. Hey, you hey doing, I man? got some explaining to do, you man. Know our feelings, huh? You got some explaining oh, to do. Hold on, hold on, yo, 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 no, no, no. You held me at gunpoint. The first time, I let it slide. I let it slide, right? The second time, that was on call for him, bro. You held me at gunpoint and took my car and took my PlayStation Classic. You didn't give me indi any indication that you were going to mod it after you stole my car. Explanations, explanations. I got everything for you. Do you? Here's your PlayStation. Finito, capisce, okay? Okay. Si, man, I go on, though. Okay, listen to me. We got the power cable. This device here ensures power to the Wi-Fi extender and to the main mod storage, yeah? Capish? Oh, so capish, capish, okay. Without this piece, we can't power nothing because these two pieces are only five watts of power, okay? Next up is your 8-bit deal complimentary on the house for the misunderstanding for your car, okay? How's that complimentary? I gave it to you. This cost more I literally gave it to you. This one costs more than the car. Don't worry about it. Complimentary. Okay, my gift to you, maybe. I, my gift to you for the misunderstanding, okay? <laughs> This one wirelessly connects any controller ever. You got the PlayStation Mini. You turn this bad boy on, power goes through point A to point B, turns on your emulator. Go look. It's magical. It better be. It's magical. I swear, it better be magical. About your car? We'll talk about it. Maybe it's in the ocean, I don't know. We'll see. And as you see, where are the games? Don't worry, it's passing configurations. Please, I'll do your eyes. And welcome to the PlayStation Magic Moment to get out back to us in many. Please see the healthy safety warning first, because your health is more important than anything. Okay? Oh, welcome wow! To the games of PlayStation the World. Wow, I, I I will say I'm actually quite quite impressed. Dragon Warrior Seven, come on. Dragon Warrior Seven, the best game in the planet. You didn't even consider this game Grand Theft Auto. Come on. You I think that was on the system area though. Uh, okay, but you don't. Incredible <laughs> Crisis wasn't. Incredible Crisis, okay. Oh, uh, you see, there's too many games. Look what's gonna happen. Did you see the Mega Man games? Oh my God. Oh, one, what do we two, got? Three, four, five, wow. Six, seven, eight. Oh shit! Don't see that one. <laughs> that one's legal. That one. That's illegal. Oh, okay. It's, legal. it's very good. Oh, it doesn't stop. When does it stop? Wow. It doesn't stop. Just keeps going. It just goes. Until you stop it at super, 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 shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Tactics ogre is so much better anyway. Wow. It doesn't end, I'm telling you. It doesn't end, it keeps going. That was a small price to pay, okay? Uh, how do I know the games work, though? Yeah, they work. Uh, but boot one up for me, let's see. My personal favorite game of all time, Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. I will show you right now. I'll show you. Go look at the game. Don't look at me. You're gonna see how it works. Yeah, did you get that cut, man? What happened? Don't worry about it. Small business. Small oh, business. Oh, but look, Batman and Robin's on. As you can see, that works. Wow. Your TV's not as impressive as this 84-inch TV, so I'm sure you get look a lot better on your small little TV. I can't be sure. All right, so if I want to change the game, how do I how do I do that? Okay, reset that pretty little system. Yeah. Whoop. Now watch, we're back at the home screen. By the way, it gets better. It gets better. We just created a save point. Wow. Oh, you see now, now. Oh, one pretty different one. Let's play some Battle Hunter. Huh? Okay. Oh, this. Battle Hunter. Pew pew pew. Perfect. Look at that. Mint condition Sony PlayStation One. Classic. This is a classic. Classic. All right. I guess. I guess that kind of makes up for what you did to me. I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll turn. I'll turn a blind eye to that. Wow. I, I gotta say, I'm. In, I'm impressed with the amount of games on here. Like, as promised, PlayStation Classic is the best uh, modded system out there. We had over 450 games for you. Sorry about the car included. I'm gonna um, improvise. Give this pretty little sexy piece for you, okay? 8 bit duo wireless piece. It cost me $200 two million or $40,000. What are you talking about? I bought it! No, no, it cost me $500 million to trillion. Of it. it cost me a lot of money. God, but, are you insulting my intelligence no, right now? No, no, it's a lot. You're junking my car, and then you're telling me you, you bought that? Not junk, it's at the bottom of the ocean. You Listen, might go take a swim, I got you have shoes. no right to fit my car in cement shoes and toss in the East River. That's yeah. unacceptable. Oh. 
That's what you gotta say, huh? That's what exactly what I gotta say. So, what are you looking for? No, nothing, nothing. I'm taking show my. Oh, oh, that's that's quite interesting because you're not gonna find what you're looking for. And why is that? Because I have your little friend right here. Oh, give it back right now, or else. Sorry, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. We will check back in on Justin in just a moment, but let's go over a couple of games on the PlayStation One Classic that was added, and the first game that came to mind was Castlevania Symphony of the Night. One of the greatest games of all time, not even on the PlayStation Classic, just period. This game is still absolutely fantastic, and it's a damn shame. This is definitely a game that should have been on the base system. I don't know what Sony was thinking about when they had the games that they had, and missing games like Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. This game plays incredibly great on this system. Check it out, for sure. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine, Gex. And on the PlayStation 1, it plays just as well as it does on the 3DO, minus the save system. But here on the PlayStation 1 Classic, it doesn't matter as the system features save states. So, that issue I had with the PS1 version is not a factor here. And this game is absolutely fantastic. This is my favorite Gex game. I prefer this over the next two that came out on the PS1. As this game still looks, sounds, and plays great. If you like 2D side-scrolling games, you're gonna love Gex. Definitely check it out. It's very creative and unique. Marvel vs. Capcom. Now, this game came right to mind when I was thinking about games that you can play on a modded PlayStation Classic. And I'm not the biggest fighting game fan. I do like a couple of different fighting game franchises, but Marvel vs. Capcom is one of my favorites simply because of the amount of Capcom characters you can play as, along with Marvel superheroes. And the different specials and attacks, the flashiness, the over-the-top gameplay. This is what I like about Marvel vs. Capcom. And to see where it started with this game, it really holds up quite well today. Definitely check this game out. It's so fun. Now, I had to go play one of my favorite Mega Man games on the PlayStation Classic. And I succeed with Mega Man X4. This game was epic when I was a kid. Seeing the new animations for the X characters, seeing the big boss fights, especially in the opening stage, the music, absolutely incredible. We had the anime style cutscenes, and like Mega Man 8, we had the poor voice acting, but it didn't matter because with all the elements blended together, Mega Man X4 is one of my favorite games of all time. This game is absolutely incredible. Do yourself a favor and play this game. So we have Pepsi Man here, a very unique game. Who would have thought a game based off soda would be actually pretty decent? So you'll basically auto run through these stages, collecting various Pepsi cans as you jump over different cars, obstacles, you'll slide under trucks, all to make it to the end of the level. And really that's all there is to it. It's nothing too complex about the game, and graphically it looks pretty decent. I was quite surprised with how well this game plays. Unfortunately this never came out outside of Japan, but with the power of the PlayStation Classic, I finally got to experience the man, the myth, the legend, Pepsi Man. Next up, we have the amazing R-Type Delta. Thanks to the power of the PlayStation Classic, I'm able to revisit one of my favorite shoot-em-ups, honestly. I love the low polygon graphics. I think it really gives this game some character. 
And I wish this game would get a modern release on current platforms, but sadly that's not the case. But thankfully, here on the PlayStation Classic, I get to experience this game yet again. And the music is absolutely incredible, which is not surprising for this genre. This genre always turns out some great tunes, and R-Type Delta is no different. Definitely check this game out if you haven't played this game, as you will not be disappointed. Next up, we have Dino Crisis 2. Now, I know I've been showing a lot of Capcom games in these gameplay clips, but I can't help it. Capcom really had a strong library on the PS1, and Dino Crisis is no different. I just wish we would get a new game in the franchise. It's been so many years since Dino Crisis 3, and I know that game had mixed reception, but I still enjoyed it. But I want to see Capcom take it back to the style of Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Although Dino Crisis 1 was more survival horror than Dino Crisis 2, as this game is very action focused as you build up these different combos when you kill all the dinosaurs trying to maul you to death. But it's a fun game regardless. The graphics look great. You get to fight a lot of different unique and varied dinosaurs. You can't go wrong, and of course, the soundtrack is fantastic. Definitely play Dino Crisis if you haven't. You're missing out. The last game I will be showing off is Airgeist. Now, excuse me if I'm pronouncing the game wrong, but this is a interesting fighting game as you can play as different Final Fantasy VII characters such as Cloud, Tifa, and Sephiroth. To me that was the draw to the game, for me at least. And I used to play this game a lot with my roommate from a while ago. We would play this game, enjoy it. It's not the best fighting game in the world, but the fun factor is quite high with this title. Now, that's it for the gameplay overview. Let's check back with Justin to make sure, well, make sure he won't be a problem anymore. There we go. Sleep with the fishes. I'm out of here. Bada bing, bada bing in your face. Sleep with the fishes. You didn't see that. Mafia too. Sitting on a bada bing, sitting on a bada bing. Bada bing, you are gonna get shot. Sleeping with the fishes six feet under me. A made man, bada bing. In your face. Bada 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 bing. Forget about it. Spaghetti linguine, spaghetti linguine, spaghetti linguine, and even some lasagna. Peace out, me always be a made man, get on. Forget about it, spaghetti linguine, spaghetti linguine, and even some lasagna. Peace out, me homies, be a made man, get on. 